Welcome back to Chemistry. My name is Jeremy Krug with another chemistry demonstration. Today I want to show you a little trick we can do with surface tension. Here I have a glass jar, about one liter of water, uh, an index card, and a tub because this might get a little bit messy. Uh, so first, I'm going to take this glass jar and fill it up with water. We use the tub to protect our, our table surface. Now, I'll take this index card and place it firmly on the opening of the jar, trying to make a, a little seal here. If I'm very careful, I can turn the jar over and hopefully the water stays inside the jar. Pretty neat. So how does this work? Well, we have two competing forces, surface tension and gravity. Surface tension is the tendency of the water to maintain its roughly spherical shape and stay inside the jar. Gravity is the tendency of the water to fall toward the Earth's uh, uh, center and make a big mess. And I'm helping things out with the card, but we're actually seeing that the force of surface tension is actually winning out against gravity, at least temporarily. Now, what happens if I take the card off? Well, let's see. The water stays in the jar. Now, how is that happening? Well, just to show you that the jar isn't sealed or anything, let me pour some of the water out of the jar. I'll pour some more out and some more. So surface tension is a pretty important and rather strong property of liquids. And liquids with strong intermolecular forces like water will have strong surface tension. Of course, uh, I am helping things out. Uh, what's the trick? Well, if I pour the rest of this out, you can see that I've screwed a little screen into the top of the glass jar to help out the surface tension just a bit. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this chemistry demonstration that you can try at home. If you like what you saw, subscribe. Visit my class at krugslist.org and subscribe for more chemistry goodness.